What's up guys? Today we are watching season 6, episode 3 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode wasn't too much. I mean, Michael's still in jail and Gina went to go visit him before like her and her family go to London. And we actually got to see Jack Nelson and I didn't think we were going to get to see him this up ep like that episode, but we did. And it was kind of weird, you know, like he got talking with Tommy, but it's like not only that at the end of the episode, what's it called? His daughter Ruby seemed to be like getting worse with her shit. Like she seemed kind of creepy, I can't lie. And he started freaking out and didn't he call for Esme or like he was trying to find her or something at the end of the episode? Something like that. But I'm ready to see what's gonna happen with his daughter Ruby and what's gonna happen with that whole situation. So I guess let's just get into the episode. <laughs> Mr. Shelby, your daughter has consumption. Consumption is a very infectious disease. There are procedures that must be followed. Please hand over the child. Okay. Is he? I didn't know she actually had something, but I mean. Fuck you and me! Who brought this on? We brought on this curse! Stop, Tommy! He's really freaking everyone out right now with how he's acting, but. It's his daughter, man. I'm sorry. You see? Yeah. Tell me what I have to do. This way, sir. At least she was able to calm him down a bit. Mr. Shelby, you all need to keep still for a moment. It's weird seeing how it worked back then because at first I was so confused like what the fuck is happening but she has a tobacco infection in her left lung they've caught her quite early they'll do more tests it's just so weird how she was spewing all the other stuff a 37% guard They say it helps, but it will make her more sick at first. That's gonna be hard to see. Especially since he was just freaking out right now. Well, like, earlier. I'm so sorry. My darling. I will deal with it. It's not exactly your fault. What is he gonna try? But Ruby is very sick. I need five days of your time. Of course she'd help out if it's in this case, I mean. Go to the door and take her coat. Yes, ma'am. Uh, make a note of the label. Of course, ma'am. You gonna start copying her? I am so confused. What is that? Because they spent so much of their income on Guinness. Please. I think the causes of poverty are a little more complex than that. Yes, I believe it is to do with genetics. Hmm? Is sick? Does he not employ a governess? It's a class thing. A genetic thing. He puts his daughter's welfare before business. As he should. The Black Rider on 18th Dynasty vases is meant to signify approaching death. So, yes. I suppose it resembles Thomas. They all saying that, man. You know I like to fuck women as well as men. 
Mm, Tommy was right. Why is that relevant? But that the gypsies should be spared. Let's drink whiskey and wait for the American. Fucking hell. I follow the pattern signs with the Lee family. I'm looking for Esme Shelby Lee. Never heard of her. You liar. You keep blinder. Yeah. Well, I'm the elder and more terrible. And as I said, I'm in a hurry. Where is she? Put your gun away, Thomas. There's children around. We haven't seen her in so long. Dog keeps me safe. Cat keeps me warm at night. And if anyone's gonna give you trouble, Tommy Shelby, it'll be me. Tell him to leave. What do you think I'm in charge here? Oh, I'm sure of it, Esme. Jalabri! Thought you had Polly deal with the spirits. Polly is dead. What little blade? She didn't know Polly was dead? Well, I mean, they haven't talked to her in a while. I can tell from your reaction this is not your doing. Sorry for troubling you. Is she still gonna want to help in some way? That's a very expensive label. Yes, it is. But the perfume I can smell on you is very cheap. Damn, I swear, what is her deal? I'm deeply, deeply annoyed that Thomas isn't here. It is a family emergency, apparently. We only have Ada, the sister. You say that in a disrespectful way. Like... ...that will make Mr. Nelson do what you require him to do. So when I speak, please keep your fucking mouths closed. Because although I'm reluctant, I am actually quite good at this. Period, Ada. Hello, Ada. Michael sends his regards. You're the sister. Yes, it seems I am indeed the sister. They just keep disrespecting her like that. Men bore me. Ada, do you have a man? My husband died. But of course, we speak often. <laughs> Where the hell is he? He's been unavoidably detained. Nothing's unavoidable. His daughter is unwell. He doesn't have a wife? As if the wife is supposed to do fucking everything. Tommy just wants to help his daughter. That's not disrespectful. During the disease, experimental work that he hopes will save the life of his daughter. In his shoes, I would do the same thing. Your brother intrigues me. He intrigues everyone, bro. The car chooses now not to fucking work. So she did it, okay. You have to go, but I'll take you there. I hope the suspension's good. Go to a wild oak place. I just want to know where this place is. What are the yumps? When you lose your head, you can't control yourself. 
young people say it. Calling her old? I decided not. You decided. The name of the perfume is Know Your Fucking Place, soldier. Everyone really disrespecting her as if she can't lead something on her own. Then, I won't tell Tommy that you're laying private bets on races that we've fixed. Just trying to make a few extra pennies. The fact that she knew that. Be strong. No, not with me. You can let it go with me. I can't cry, Ada. I start off fall apart. I really like how close they are and like comfortable they are with each other. Like Ada was never like that with Linda, but she was still nice to her, you know. But I'm being strong at her bedside on my own. I'll tell me it's up in the mountains to be among the gypsies. He's looking for something else that could possibly help. Wells, the wild tribes. Where do they live? Well, the gypsies. They live where they like. Fuck. Was she gonna try and go find them? It's 1934, and the doctors know what it is. They know what causes it. But oh no, my husband, he knows better. Not a normal man, your brother. He's up in the mountains with fucking horse thieves and sorcerers while I'm here on my own. I'm surprised it's taken us this long to see Arthur, like, it's this late in the episode? Been looking for the big time. <laughs> what do you say, Arthur? Away from anywhere, Asme. I find out you've been wasting my time. I use that rug to fucking hang you. When he first like took out his knife, I look. He thought he was about to do something to a horse, but then I was like, why would he? So I don't know why my mind went there. <laughs> the last I saw, he was. Up to his balls and a lady called Maria. <laughs> My name's Aidan Stagg. I hear there's so many here from Birmingham looking for me. I was in the banana warehouse playing football with the boys. He took so long just to come out. The game's up. You're stealing from the Shelby Company Limited. You're stealing from the Peaky Blinders, man. Does that mean he's gonna die? He's dead. He's dead, Mr. Hayden Stagg. It's just a beating for you. It seems like that dude's just waiting to see it. He's about you come up the canal. You know, where once you walk fine alone, now you need a stick. Let's just fucking do it, Arthur. Well, for me, it was the morphine he gave us in France. But it's me who feels sorry for you, Mr. Shelby, because you take your beating every hour of every day. Your own blood. You really letting that man talk to you like that, Arthur? It's like, yeah. You're not doing the best right now, but still. Wife and your kids can't help you. Only you, Arthur Shelby. Only you. Is this dude really gonna push him to be better? Is this like the talk he needed from someone that he don't even really know? And he's supposed to like beat this dude up? Like, Ask you fucking twice! Leave me alone. No, no, fuck him. 
I don't want to see you get stung down. But he needs punishment for stealing. So then, what's his punishment going to be? Curse is in there somewhere. You should have done more to protect John. You think in this holy place, the spirits are listening to you being kind? Believe it or not, Esme, I'm discovering kindness. Little girl. Straight away, the little girl began to cough. She died that night. Perhaps you waited till your little girl was seven, so you'd know how it feels. Do you have whiskey? No. You were really gonna drink? You haven't drank in a long time. Also know its way back. But I think there should be some rewards for what I've shown you. Some consideration. You can afford it, Mr. Shelby OBE. She really asking for money? I will build a monument to this little girl. A mother can decide how big it can be as big as fucking Nelson's column. That and ten thousand pounds. God damn, he's he's mm, he's going crazy right now. Boy, certain. I will give you gold, and you will help me find this woman, and she will spare my daughter. Hopefully, man. You never know. You never know if it's true. Where the fuck were you? Where were you? Where the fuck were you? What's wrong? She's gone to me. No. She died. She was asking just now for you. We went. 5.17. Oh God, he's gonna feel so much worse. I told her that you look. I gave her your kiss goodbye. I swear, I did not think that we were gonna lose Ruby this episode. My god. It's like we didn't even really see her at all much, like maybe earlier in the episode, but it's like, I thought that somehow Tommy was gonna be able to fix it and be able to save her, but no. He comes back and she's dead? That is so fucking tough, and I feel so bad for Lizzie knowing that she did go through like all of that by herself while Tommy was out trying to look for something else. And it's like, it's like I understand both sides. Like, I get why she feels like that, I get why Tommy went and tried to find some other kind of remedy. But it's like, Ruby ended up dying anyway, and he wasn't there. He's gonna feel so awful about that. He's going crazy right now, but since Ruby is dead, he's going to go, he's going to be way worse. And I am just not ready to see that because we have like three episodes left and it's like what can happen in that span, you know? I just, I just didn't expect it. He really lost a kid. Their kid. That is so sad. My God. And it's like after that, he's going to still have to deal with Mosley, Jack Nelson and like their whole thing. And it's like, is he going to like just going to have to put that shit on pause or something? I don't think he can because it's other shit like it's big stuff he has to deal with. And he, it's like he has no time to stop and grieve for his own kid. He barely had time to do that for Grace. Like, I was about to say, and Polly too, but he also got sober and everything after Polly. But like, still, this is like 
his own kid. That just blows my mind. But one thing that I did like to see in this episode was some like women leadership. We saw Ada who got to lead some shit today and I just felt so bad that people seemed like they didn't even really like what's it called? I just had the word in my head and it just went away. They didn't seem like they took her seriously enough and that pissed me off. Like, mm. And we saw that Esme was basically like the leader of where she's at and it's just like I kind of didn't expect that but like hell yeah Esme. So we got some leadership this episode but Lizzie was going through it and you know Ada was helping her with that in any way that she could but it's like I just feel so bad for Lizzie. She was having one hell of a freaking day while Tommy was gone. She was going through all of that shit by herself. Like, damn. I just feel awful about that. But I'm ready to see how Tommy's going to be acting within these next few episodes because of like how Ruby died. So I guess come back for episode four. <laughs>